Multimedia artist Julie Atkinson creates textural landscapes using layering techniques to make her images pop. Today we will be making our own nature collages using Julie's rolling hills idea. We'll be using mostly paper cutouts for this project, but feel free to use any color or ink at the end. Think about the types of landscapes that have uneven ground. Here's an example I did in five minutes just to show you how simple the process is. And here's an example that I really took my time with. Let's begin by gathering our paper. Be sure to have scissors to cut the paper and glue or tape to hold it all together. Tear wavy strips of different sizes. These will be our hills. Have a good mix of cut, torn, large, and small pieces for a better picture. Tearing the paper will give your landscape more texture. Use at least two or three different colors for the ground. For the quick example, I took two sheets of pink paper for the mountains and two sheets of green paper for the hills. For the example I took more time on, I wrinkled and creased different colored papers for a more textured look. I place these strips of paper close together and these strips farther apart so the desert appears to vanish into the distance. Once we have our hills, we can put things in the foreground and background such as trees or rocks of different sizes to show how far or close they appear. Decorate the sky with a sun, moon, clouds, or birds to bring your collage to a finish. You can use colored pencils, ink, crayons, or markers to add detail at the end. Have fun!